Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the five number summary again, but this time I'm gonna show you how to use a computer package, or I guess more specifically read the output from a computer package for the five number summary. So we are going to be looking at R and um, the output that it gives you. Now it can give it to you in a variety of ways, but I've chosen one and I'll show you how to utilize the output that you get. So first of all, remember that with the five number summary, you have to have the data in order. That's a necessity for actually finding the five number summary. This is the way the data looks when I have it entered into R. You can see that it's not in order. So here is the data ordered, but I didn't have to do that. That's what the computer package is for. You don't have to enter the data in order. You don't have to worry about ordering it. You don't have to do any of that. That's the whole point of using a computing package. So even though this is how the data looks, this is it ordered. Neither of those things matter. I ultimately can still get the same results just because I have a computing package that's doing all that work in the background. But it is doing that work in the background. So it will order it, and that's how it finds the five number summary, which you can see here. Now, this, and this is kind of one of the things about R, this isn't as pretty as it could be, so we're gonna need to um, label this five number summary. So normally when you get a table, it would give you the, what the numbers are. But this particular function that I used in R, it was very basic. So we know that these numbers are in order, so that means I also know that the minimum is gonna be the smallest value, Q1 is the next number, the next number after that, remember, is the median, the number after that is going to be Q3, and the final number after that is going to be the maximum. So with the five number summary, because I know that they have to be in order, that also means not just that the data has to be in order, but the five number summary numerically will always be in order. And that's true because remember, when you are interpreting this, you would say 50% of the happiness scores are less than 0.16 or you can say 25% of the happiness scores are greater than 0.252. The only way that you could interpret that is if both the data and the five number summary are in order. So even though that wasn't labeled, because I know this is the five number summary, I know which of the measurements are coming for Q1 and which one is Q3 just because of where it's located in the table, but also because it has to be a number that's between the minimum and the median for Q1 just because numerically that's how we would identify it. So in the next video, I'll show you how to find the five number summary using R. See you then.